All right, in this short demo, we're going to convert the Kaggle House Prices competition into a Qflow pipeline using the open source Kale Jupyter Lab extension. So the first thing that we need to do is that we need to prepare our environment. So let's go ahead and create a new notebook by clicking on the new notebook button in the notebooks view. Let's name our new notebook server. Let's call it House Prices Kale. Scroll down to the bottom. We can take all the defaults, click the launch button. Once our notebook server is up and running, then we are ready to connect to it by clicking on the connect button. This is gonna spin up Jupyter Lab. And once we are in the launcher view, we wanna click on the terminal icon to bring up a terminal session. And with this, we're gonna to want to now git clone the Qflow slash examples repository. And once that data has been completely pulled down, we're ready to go into the explorer tree, click on examples, locate the house prices directory, click on that, and then we are gonna be looking for the Kale notebook. Click on that, get a little bit more real estate, and we're now ready to start running uh, the notebook. But first we want to enable the Kale Jupyter Lab extension. You can see the notebook has immediately been annotated with Kale tags. The first thing to do is to run uh, our pip install that's gonna pull in a requirements.txt file. And as that installation happens, we'll be watching the uh, output, and once that's successfully installed, we're gonna to want to restart the kernel. And with the kernel restarted, we're ready to walk through the main sections of the notebook. The first uh, main section of the notebook is going to be our import section, and you can see that's the tag that we're using to annotate that uh, block of cells. Next up is the load data uh, section, and you can see we're using a pipeline step here. Uh, at least we're defining that as a pipeline step using an annotation. And if we scroll down uh, further in the notebook, we can then come to our next section, which is going to be the pre-processing uh, section. So here we're gonna to wanna to use the functions annotation to let uh, Qflow know that what comes after this particular tag are going to be functions. And you can see there's several of them uh, in the notebook. And you can see in the creating features section, there is also uh, another function uh, creation block or block of cells um, as well. And that leads us to deeper down in the notebook where our next main activity is going to be happening. And that's gonna be in regards to the final model that we wanna build. So here we're gonna be using the pipeline step uh, annotation. Uh, and then in the following uh, cell, we're gonna be using the pipeline step as well, in this case for training data. And then there's a final pipeline step called eval data. And now these pipeline steps are what we're gonna see manifest uh, inside of the runtime execution graph. So wherever you saw us use the pipeline step annotation, we're gonna see those in the runtime execution graph. So we've gone ahead and just clicked the compile and run button. There's nothing else that we need to do uh, with this Kale notebook to convert it into a pipeline. So you can see that Kale is gonna go ahead and validate the notebook. It's then gonna take a snapshot so we can reconstitute this environment, data, and notebook to precisely this particular point. We're then gonna compile the notebook, upload the pipeline, and then we're gonna run it. And once we're in this running state, we can then click on the view hyperlink. And this is gonna take us to the runs view inside of the Qflow UI. And you can see we're looking at the runtime execution graph in real time. We've created a volume. Uh, we've load and loaded and pre-processed our data. We're now rushing, doing some feature engineering on the data. Uh, the train data step uh, is the fourth step. And then our final step, which is the eval data step. And that's it. You've successfully used the open source Kale Jupyter Lab extension to streamline the creation of a Qflow pipeline for the Kaggle house prices competition.